Hello Aries, Simon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today for Aries, Simon Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's see. So we do have, ooh, we have engagement, and then we also have new love. This could definitely represent taking things to the next level within a current relationship that you're currently in, or this could represent somebody new entering your life. But we'll see what it's more so leaning towards. We're gonna focus on you first, Aries, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Aries currently view this for the, oh, Jesus. We have the four of wands, we have the justice card, and then we also have the emperor. The bottom of the deck, we do have the queen of pentacles, we also have the page of pentacles. For some of you, you could be dealing with like a single mother or a single father. Because I am kind of getting that for some. Ooh, wait a minute. And then we have the Three of Swords with the Two of Wands to the Ace of Pentacles to the Four of Swords. I feel like you're dealing with this Queen of Pentacles. Now, this Queen of Pentacles might be slightly younger than you. They might even have a child and or children. Now, that's not going to be the case for all, right? I mean, this person doesn't have to have a child they might really want one one day because i am kind of getting that but nonetheless right i feel like this queen recently went through a breakup with someone here and they're very for the most part focused on moving forward and moving on with their life and focusing on themselves and their finances and their career um you know things of that nature but man, it's like the moment that you lay eyes on this Queen of Pentacles, it's just like you just know. Like, this is the one that I'm going to marry. This is the one that I'm going to build my life with. Like, you just know. You just know that they're the one for you. Okay, let's, let's look into this Queen a little bit more. Let's look into this Queen a little bit more. Hmm. How does this person currently view? Okay, let's do this. We have the Three of Cups, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and then we have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. We have the Eight of Swords with the King of Cups. We also have the Four of Wands, and then we have the World. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles, let me just pull them out. This Queen of Pentacles that you're looking at, like, oh my God, like, that's the one for me. That's the one for me. I just know it. They recently went through an ending here between them and a king of cups energy they could have been connecting with like a water sign strongly so a cancer scorpio maybe even a pisces things could have ended due to like a third party situation maybe this person cheated on them maybe they were entertaining like other people while being involved with them but more of the story is is that it didn't work out right between these two hmm. you know i want to look at this 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 three of cups energy because I feel like they're kind of looking at you like okay like I really do like this person I really do but it's just the timing the timing the timing the timing like I just got out of this relationship so they might feel like the timing is just not right they might feel like the timing is just not right let's look at the three of cups I'm more about the three of cups they really like you they really do like you. They really do like you and they really do feel good about you, but it's just the timing. It's just the timing, you know? They just got out of this entire situation here and they might feel like they need some time to really heal and fully process, you know, this ending that transpired between them and whoever it is that they were connecting with. But man, do they like you. They really like you. Okay, let's see where this is going. Let's see where this is going. Let's see. How does this person currently feel? We got the Knight of Pentacles. We got the Fool. And then we also have the um, Eight of Cups. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. We have the Five of Cups. We also have Interesting. I feel like they're having a conversation with themselves. Don't think that they're crazy, okay? But I feel like they're realizing that this 
breakup, separation, divorce, whatever have you that they just recently experienced with someone, it's holding them back from this opportunity that's presenting itself to them, which would be basically you. And I feel like this person's kind of telling themselves like, you know what? You just need to you just need to get over it. You need to move forward. You need to move on with your life. You can't continue to dwell on this anymore. You got to move forward. You got to move on with your life. And I feel like the more they sit there and encourage themselves to move forward and move on with their life, the more they're going to find themselves gravitating towards you. Okay? So I like I like how this is unfolding so far. How does Aries currently feel? Okay. We got the Five of Wands. We have the Hierophant. And then we also have the Two of Cups. I want to look at the Five of Wands. Tell me more about the Five of Wands. You know, I feel like I feel like this is one of those situations where it's kind of like it's kind of like the whole love at first sight going on here for you in regards to this Queen of Pentacles that you currently find yourself connecting with. It it really is like love at first sight. Um, you know, it's like the moment that you look at them, you just know like this is the one that I'm gonna marry. This is the one that I'm gonna have kids with. You know, this is the one I'm gonna build a life with. But I feel like with that Five of Wands energy, you're trying to kind of like tame yourself. Is <laughs> like the best way I can kind of describe what it is I'm seeing here. You're trying to tame yourself, right? You're, you're you're trying your hardest to not get too far ahead of yourself here when it comes on to this person. But there's just something about this person, man, where it's just like you just know, you just know that they're the one for you. You just know it. But I feel like you're trying to tame yourself. I feel like you're trying to slow your roll just a little bit here. But, you know, you just can't help how you feel. You just can't help how you feel. You don't want to ignore it. You don't want to ignore it. This person and this situation, it feels right to you. It feels right to you and you're going. You're definitely going for it, but I do feel like you're trying to tame yourself just a little bit and kind of slow your roll here, homie. Um, considering the fact, right, that they just got out of a situation here, they are kind of looking at the situation like, damn, like, it's just like, I just got out of this relationship and I don't know if I really want to do all of that right now. I need some time to heal. I need some time to process all of this, but... I just want to throw this out there because I'm pretty sure once I clarify it, it's going to come out either which way. This person does not give me the impression, not to discourage you or anything like that, but this person doesn't necessarily give me the impression of somebody who's ready to jump into anything serious right now. And it has a lot to do with something that they just recently experienced, divorce, breakup, whatever have you. So they're going to take things slowly with you. They're going to take things slowly with you. Knight of Pentacles is like the slowest freaking moving knight out of all of the knights. They're going to gravitate towards you. They're going to take a chance on you, but they're going to move very, 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 very slowly. Okay. Very slowly. Tell me more about the night. So we have the, uh, huh. we have the lovers. We got the page of swords. We got the nine of cups. Then we got the devil. Oh, God. I just noticed the King of Cups. Why didn't I see the King of Cups, man? Okay, now this, this shit just got complicated. For them, anyways. You know what's... Oh, fuck. You know what's... Uh, it's not interesting, but... You got some competition here. You got some competition here. You really do, okay? Um... It, it, it kind of looks like this person's ex uh, still wants to be with them, okay? Um, so you do got some competition here. That's one thing that I will say. In other words, you ain't the only one that wants this queen because I feel like this, this ex of theirs is still very much so after them. Um, to be completely honest, to be completely honest, I feel like this ex of theirs is at this point borderline obsessed with them. Like this to me is like obsession at its finest. At its finest, like this person is obsessed with this fucking queen, man. Obsessed with them. Obsessed with them. But also in love with them. So just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. Uh, tell me more about the fool. See, the thing with them is that even though this person might be obsessed with them and or in love with them, 
They've already made peace with the simple fact that it just ain't gonna work out between them and this King of Cups here. So they wanna head towards the new here. They do. They do. They wanna head towards the new. It doesn't look like they have any sort of interest of like getting back with this one over here. Okay. So then there's that. So then there's that. Hmm. What actions will this person take towards Aries or moving forward? We got the moon. They've been hiding something from you. And they feel bad because of it. What the hell is going on? I feel like it has everything to do with the damn King of Cups, to be honest. I don't I don't feel like you're aware. That's the thing. I don't feel like you're aware. I don't feel like you're aware that this ex of theirs is still very much so after them. I don't feel like you're aware of that. It's like they're trying to move forward and move on with their life. And this ex of theirs just keeps kind of like, you know what I mean? Like they keep trying to pull them back in. And they're just like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. Leave me alone. You know? But it's just like, yeah, no. Like you're not going anywhere. You're going to stay right here with me. It has that feel to it. What actions? We have the Nine of Swords. Oh, God. Yeah, you're going to find out. You're going to end up finding out. With the Ten of Swords to the Hierophant to the Moon, they've been hiding something from you. Okay, they've definitely been hiding something from you, and I feel like it has everything to do with this King of Cups here. They've been hiding this King of Cups here from you. They have. And I feel like the moment that you find out, like... It's just gonna, it just feels like a huge fucking letdown, man. It feels like a huge fucking letdown that you're experiencing on your behalf. Because I feel like you're noticing like a shift slash change within this person's energy. Like they might start to retract their energy. You know, they might start to do things like that. But truth of the matter is, is that like what's really causing them to do all of this has a lot to do with this King of Cups over here that just refuses to leave them alone. Um... Yeah, I feel like you're going to start to notice the shift within them. I do. You're going to start to notice a shift within, within them. And it's going to cause you to feel like, damn, like, did I say something wrong? Did I do something wrong? Like, why aren't they texting me? Why aren't they calling me? What the fuck is going on? And you might even ask them, like, yo, is everything okay? Like, <laughs> haven't heard from you everything okay you good are we good like it has that that feel to it and i feel like that's when they're gonna tell you like that's when they're gonna tell you about you know this king of cups let's let's look at the moon time around with the moon is that the four wands oh i thought it was the four wands we got the eight of pentacles you got the Nine of Swords, we got the Three of Wands, and then we also have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, and then we have the Just, they're second guessing themselves. They're second guessing themselves here. You know, I feel like this person really thought that they really wanted to move forward and move on with their life. And they're kind of realizing that they don't want to. They don't want to, and it has a lot to do with, you know, the fact that, well, this one over here is still very much so obsessed with them, and they're really trying to work things out with them, and they're definitely taking that into consideration. And they're going to tell you that. You're going to hear it from the damn horse's mouth. That's kind of besides the point here, because it's showing up on your end. Um, it's showing up on your end. You're going to end up finding out the truth here, and the truth is, is that, well... This person's ex is still very much so in love with them and borderline obsessed with them at this freaking point. And on top of that, they're really trying to work things out here with this Queen of Pentacles that you're very interested in. The thing is, is that I feel like they go from, yo, that's it, like, I'm done, I'm walking away from the situation, never looking back, right? But then this ex shows up, and then this ex, you know, is trying to work things out with them, and then it has them second-guessing themselves, like, do they really want to move forward and move on with their life? Um, are they honestly ready for that? Are they honestly ready to close this chapter out between them and this ex of theirs? 
or do they actually want to work things out with them you know it has that that feel to it and I feel like they're gonna tell you that I feel like they're gonna tell you that because they feel bad they feel bad that they've been keeping this from you but they're telling you they're telling you like exactly like straight up like listen this is what's going on like and to be honest I'm probably thinking about working things out with them okay um Tell me more about justice. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But uh, it just mm, it just kind of looks like because this ex of theirs really does want to work things out with them, they're taking that into consideration, but they're torn. They're definitely torn because I feel like they they honestly did really love what they essentially had with you. And as much as they want to continue to pursue it, they know that it's wrong for them to do that. They know that it's wrong for them to entertain you and then someone else at the same exact time. They know that it's wrong. They know that it's wrong and that's not something that they want to do. It's not something that they want to do. They just need to really figure out what they want to do here. They, they really want to figure out what it is that they want to do here and which path they should essentially take, whether that's towards you or towards this... Uh, obsessive ex of theirs or whatever the case may be um okay let's i want to see i want to pull advice for the both of you um what advice can you give this queen of pentacles We got the Seven of Swords, and then we have the uh, King of Cups, and then we have the Queen of Wands to the Two of Cups, to the Empress, wow, to the Justice card, you know, and then the Star. I'm going to take the card exactly how I picked them up because it makes so much sense the way that I kind of picked them up. If this Queen does decide to go back to this King of Cups, <clears throat> uh they're going to regret it, right? Because I feel like this King of Cups, man, they're just full of, they're just full of shit. They're just full of shit, man. Like, they come off to me as, like, a compulsive liar, somebody who's not a man and or a woman of their word. Um, they do kind of come off as somebody who likes to play with people's emotions on top of that. Like, if they go back to this King of Cups, they're going to basically regret it. It's basically encouraging this person to continue on the path that they're currently on, which is the path that they're on with you. Because that's promising and it could lead to a lot of love abundance stability wish fulfillment all of that jazz right but they're never going to be able to obtain that with this king of cups and the sad part of it all is that they know that they know that i'm not telling this queen something that they don't already know they know exactly what to anticipate slash expect from this king of cups all right um, Aries, let's get back to you, my friend. Let's get back to you. Let's pull some advice for you. Okay. Any advice for Aries? Mm. We have the world. We have the eight of swords. You got the ten of swords. And then we also have temperance. And then we have the seven of wands. All right. Get ready for this. Uh, to the ten of cups. And then we also have the five of swords. Let's do this. This is your overall advice. Um, when it comes down to the situation at hand, the fact that this person's contemplating you and a whole other individual, it's not it's not fair for you. It's basically what it's saying. It's not fair for you because look, you know, it's like now you feel like this person's playing games with you. Now you feel like they're wasting your time. You know what I mean? It's basically telling you to not continue to interact and or engage with this person it's basically saying yo retract your energy immediately immediately retract your energy don't continue to give to the situation and or person okay um with the seven of wands to the ten of cups to the five of swords if this queen decides to run back uh to this uh king of cups and they realize like ugh, they're still the same old fucking person man they're going to run back right to you. I hope you know that. They're going to come running right back to you, trying to fight for you in this relationship with you and trying to fix things with you And because they realized, right, that they made a mistake. Like, that's exactly what they're going to do. 
expect it. That's exactly what this person's going to do. They're going to come running right back your way and trying to fight for you and this relationship with you all over again. I made a mistake. Shouldn't have done that. Please forgive me. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. But, but it's basically telling you that the moment this happens, retract your energy. I don't care if you have to freaking fall off the face of the freaking earth at this point. You know what I mean? Retract your energy and don't continue to give to this entire situation. Allow them to figure out what it is that they really want to do, whether it's, you know, dealing with this freaking ex of theirs that they know is no good for them, but they're choosing to go back either which way. Because for some, that's exactly what they're going to do. I'm going to be completely honest. That's exactly what they're going to do. And through this overall experience that they're going to have with this ex, they're going to realize, fuck, I made a mistake. I really want to work this out. Please forgive me. All of that stuff, right? Don't make it easy for them. Don't make it easy for them. Do not make it easy for them. Don't make it easy for them. Don't. Don't make it easy for them, okay? What's the outcome here between these two? Got the Seven of Pentacles, we got the Page of Swords, we got the Ten of Wands, we got the Three of Cups, and then we also have the Star. You know, I see the two of you picking up where you guys left off with one another because they're gonna, more than likely, this one over here is gonna go running right back to the King of Cups, right? And the moment that they do, they're gonna realize like, fuck, I made a mistake. I made a mistake, I made a mistake. What the hell was I thinking? And then they're gonna come running right back to you like, please forgive me, I made a mistake, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> You know, things like that. I see the two of you picking up where you guys left off, but it's not the same. It's not the same, and it's because of this little thing that they just pulled. It's it's not the same. It's, it's not the same. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands. It's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, I just, listen, I'm going to just keep it real here, okay? It's not the same anymore. You know, this by what they just pulled on their end, it just changed your whole perception of this person and what you thought, you know, of this person is drastically changing and you can't even freaking help it, even if you wanted to. Like, even if you wanted to go back to this energy of like, oh my God, I love them. They're the perfect person for me. You're going to find it very difficult to get to that point all over again because of what they just pulled here. They chose this ex over you is basically what they did. That's exactly what they did. That's exactly what they did. And yes, you guys might pick up where you left off. Y'all, you guys might talk about it and move past it, but it will never be the same. It will never be the same. And that's technically their fault. It's technically their fault. At least to be honest, it is technically their fault. You know, this person really did self-sabotage a good thing, man. They really, really did. I mean, Jesus Christ. We got the freaking emperor to the justice card to the four of wands. That's somebody who's very committed and devoted to whoever it is that they're with, which I do feel like it's this person to the right of me. Not only that, man, but it's like, you know, this is somebody that you honestly saw yourself building and establishing a future with. And then they pull this. And then they pull this right here. It's like, yeah, yeah, no. Honestly, you might get to that point where you might realize, you know what, this don't feel the same. This this doesn't even look the same. I don't even look at you the same. Like, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. You might. You just might. But nonetheless, it just kind of looks like they really did ruin a good thing because they thought that, oh, let me just go back to them. You never know. It's It's not even a matter of you never know. I feel like they know. Like, they know what's waiting for them. They know that the moment they come running right back to this ex of theirs, they're going to sit there and lie to them because that's what they always do. They're going to sit there and manipulate them because that's what they always do. Like, they haven't changed. And I feel like maybe that's why they ran back to them because they thought that they were going to change or something like that. You know, I feel like this, this King of Cups really gave them a freaking sob story. Moral of the story is, is that, granted, they messed up. They made a mistake. They shouldn't have ran back to them. It is what it is, but the damage is done at this point. The damage is done at this point, and I feel like they're just trying to, like, balance things out and make things right with you, and it's like, it's just not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same, and you can't help but to feel like it's just not the same. 
anymore because they messed it up. They really did ruin things here, okay? So, okay. That's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading out totally resonated. Also too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it's linked in the description box down below and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.